Hello, I'm Leah Scott Price, and I am a comic book author. And this is a Q&A about my writing, my comic book series, and my characters. How are vampire guardian angels different from all other vampires? They are a unique new breed. They're still holy, but evil at the same time. They are immune to things that traditionally kill vampires, such as holy water, crucifixes, sunlight, and stakes to the heart. They are almost invincible. They are serial killers that can only target certain victims if you summon them through prayers of despair. They are powerful and can be healed or resurrected by a secret potion that you need to read the comic book series to find out. Is this a romantic vampire love story? Hell no. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, but no. These are horrifying, bloody, and quite grotesque and vicious vampires who are not tender lovers. If you're expecting a vampire love story with vampires as a heroic romantic figure, you've come to the wrong place. <laughs> They'd rather eat you than love you. There is no romance in the comic book. The love interests are only used as a plot device to the story. This is not a romantic vampire story where the characters live happily ever after. How do I know that my guardian angel is a vampire? He shows up with black wings and fangs. And by that time, it's um, too late. Run. How do vampire guardian angels survive? They rob, steal, pillage. They basically do whatever they want. And take whatever they want. Are vampire guardian angels among us now? Probably. In the fictional stories, if you hear of a murder, it's because a vampire guardian angel, being a serial killer, can hypnotize humans to do their killings for them, to make it look like an accident or homicide. Can vampire guardian angels eat other vampires? Yes, they can. They can eat what's called the earth vampires in the series and all other vampires. Where do vampire guardian angels hide here on Earth? Vampire guardian angels hide in churches and cemeteries where they become or transform into life-sized angel statues. You need to look closely to see the fangs, if you dare. Or if the statue is breathing, you could check for that too. They also like ancient castles, cathedrals, and... Even dark, secluded warehouses were they, you know, covered in plastic, probably for a museum or something. Or they live anywhere and everywhere, and you never know when they will show up unless you pray in despair to one. Please like and subscribe to my videos and watch my Vampire Guardian Angels films and animation. And please check out my work at patreon.com backslash Price, where I have my comic book series, my novels, and my drawing lessons and tips, and my writing tips, and Q&A and facts about my vampire guardian angels characters. Thanks for watching.